it's Miss Sarah, and I'm going to read you an ELA Valentine's story again. All right, but first, let's go over our rules. Rule number one, eyes are watching. Rule number two, ears are listening. Let's turn them on. Rule number three, voices are quiet. Rule number four, body is calm. All right. So the Valentine's book I want to read today is The Night Before Valentine's Day. Twas the night before Valentine's Day and all through the town, children were busy not making a sound. They gathered their scissors, their glitter and glue, pink and red paper, and paint brushes too. They made cards that read, Will you be mine? And others that said, My true Valentine. They trimmed giant hearts with stickers and lace and added an arrow in just the right place then marking the envelopes with each friend's names they hoped that their friends would be doing the same and when they were done they snug they slept snug in their beds while visions of candy hearts danced in their heads. They're dreaming of candy hearts. The very next morning, it was Valentine's Day. They grabbed their cards and went on their way. They got their cards and they're headed on the school bus. The classroom was decked out in red, pink, and white with balloons and streamers so festive and bright. The classrooms are all decorated for Valentine's Day. Someone dropped by with a giant bouquet addressed to the teacher who blushed right away. The card was signed from a secret admirer, but everyone knew it was Mr. O'Meyer. Sometimes people get flowers too. They played pin the heart and won goofy prizes. And girls went away from kissy face boys. No. The art teacher came and painted kids' faces. She put hearts on cheeks and sillier places. The art teacher put hearts on cheeks and on noses. At last, it was time to deliver their cards. Look, one for Lisa, Jim, and Bernard. They opened them up, read them, and smiled, and laughed at the cards that were totally wild. Oh, my goodness, look at all the great cards that everybody made. Then they ate goodies, sweet cherries and grapes, and drank punch with ice cubes and little heart shapes. That's cute. A 
And just when they thought the party was done, a knock on the door came at a quarter past one. I wonder who that could be. There's a knock, but nobody knows who it is. When what to their wondering, wondering eyes should appear, but their principal himself dressed in fully Cupid gear. His arrows how golden, his bow curved and tight. The wig that he wore was a comical sight. Oh my goodness. His principal, their principal is so silly. He spoke not a word and was gone in a minute, leaving a present behind. Now what could be in it? They read Cupid's note as he leaped down the hall. Happy Valentine's Day to one and to all. Wonder what's in the box. Let's see. <gasps> it's a hamster. It says, Happy Valentine's Day to one and to all. The end. I hope you like that story. Until next time, bye.